What is going on, Extreme Gang? It is Extreme Car Breaks. I'm here on this beautiful Wednesday. I think it was Memorial or uh, President's Day threw me off this week. We're going to do a little something different. Um, normally, we open boxes or we talk about the website and stuff. I'm going to go through like more of a Q&A type scenario. Uh, be the first episode doing it. I don't know if we'll make it in a series or not, but there'll probably at least be a couple of these videos, so at least they're kind of numbered out. And I've been getting a lot of questions either via direct message, email, um, even, you know, just regular responses. And some of them are like, you know, duplicate questions where I'm feeling I'm not doing a really got a good job of uh, explaining this stuff to you. So I want to use this as an opportunity to do it. So no, the cards on the screen are not like anything more than just some decoration up there, some stuff I have. Only one card's really for sale, and that's the middle one. That's on my slabs, but um, I want to just go through and try to knock some of these questions out. I put them down to where I try to group the questions together, and we're not going to talk about PSA grading or BGS grading. Well, maybe we'll save that for another episode um, to talk about. I don't want to go real long with the videos with questions and answers, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on the time clock and everything and see what happens here. All right, first question I have is how do I join one of your breaks? Well, there's two types of breaks. If you're looking for to do like a pick your team, PYT, or random teams, I normally only do those on Facebook, and it's called the Monster's Den. Uh, all you got to do is go on there, request access, and you can get any of the breaks whenever I drop them. Now, Jacob is on there, and he breaks probably four to six days a week. I just do it partly now. I don't, I'm not where I'm breaking three cases plus a week anymore. Uh, the job that I do now kind of de deviates onto it. And I want to still be able to give you guys the same quality break along with the same quality shipping quickly. And uh, if I break at like 7 o'clock and then until I ship out a major product, it's now 1 in the morning. I'm not as close as I was to the post office before. So, But if you want to join a break, that's that way. Now, if you want a personal box, like you want to buy the new 2020 Heritage when it comes out next week, that will be in the store. So when you purchase it, just send me a message, email or something, say, hey, do you want it shipped? Because normally I'm just going to ship it. Or break live. And then we'll schedule a time. Some people just tell me, go break it whenever I can, and they'll watch the video later. So I can either, you know, I'll still break it live either way. But if you tell me just go ahead and break it whenever, I'll break it as soon as I get home, then you can catch it later, whatever you want. All right, let's see here. Do I go live other than breaking? Not really. And that's probably my own fault because it's really not an excuse. Is the software I use to edit my uh, stuff, I use a program called Filmora to where if I use the YouTube one, it just does not really turn out the way I want to. But we're going to start going live at least once a week. I'm going to try. And we're shooting this Friday. From uh, 9 to 10 p.m., I'll come live, and if you guys have questions, answers, just want to, you know, talk, we can. I'll maybe open a box up of 17, 18, uh, I think it's Prism Retail I have. And I'll give you guys that uh, code for the store. If you guys want to purchase single cards, you're more than welcome to with the code. But I I'm going to try doing a better job of coming live for everybody. I know that's one of the things that I've been hit with the most, and normally live when I break. And some people are like, hey, we just like to see you live doing other stuff. And we'll, I'll try to figure out. Oh, I also go live when I do the randoms for the giveaways. Don't forget about that. we got another giveaway on uh, Friday. We'll start it. And also, don't forget to check it out. Time to plug the store, ExtremeCardBreaks.com. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Make comments. You always got to plug, guys. You always got to plug that stuff. All right, back to what we really came here for. How does this work? There's a video I did. Just go back a couple from here, and you'll see it. It's where I they we had the site redone, and then I added to it. So to go to the latest one on there, and it's basically it'll give you instructions or where to drop down, how to look at the stuff. I'm still working with coding to try to add a filter to it, so you guys can do by highest, lowest, alphabetically, whatever it may be. But check that link, that video out. I mean, the easiest way to do it, if you want it by alpha, like by numeric thing, like oldest card to newest card by the type of card, like, you know, like 1950 tops through 2020 tops, just click the catalog thing twice, and it'll pull it all up. 
If you go over one where it says cards for sale and you want to see all cards for sale, just click that, and I believe it's by highest to lowest, but I'll double check that. All right, how does discounts and shipping work? Discounts, it's only whenever I give the codes out, so you just got to watch out for those. There's not much more I can really say on to that, but you use them in the store, and it, it, when you go through checkout, write the code in there, it'll give you a discount. Free, okay, shipping. So the way I do shipping, if it's under $49, you have to pay for shipping per weight. If it's over $49, it's on me. So that covers all breaks, all boxes you guys buy. If you only buy like $10 in like dollar cards, the store should automatically be like, okay, that's like $4 for shipping. I don't know. You know, first class, whatever it may be. That way, the card is still going out cheap, and then I'm still not taking a hit on shipping unless it's over $49. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, I tested out. It worked on my dummy account. So should be no hiccups on that. Alrighty. Now the rest of these, I believe. Okay. Th this one here, I do want to touch on. It says, can we donate? I'm not too sure what you meant by donate. Now, I'm not too sure if you meant like send me cards to do as giveaways. I'm not asking that. I'm doing that all on my own. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. I can't stop it because there is an address down there to my UPS store. So if you want to do that. If you're talking about when I go live and where you see people getting donations, I don't require that at all. It's on there as a feature, but I don't want you don't have to. I don't expect anybody to. This is a channel where you can just relax, get in some giveaways if you want to. Um watch the breaks, watch the videos type deal. I know there's people out there that want people to use that little donation button thing that's on there. I, I don't. I've never seen it, to be honest. So I don't even know what it looks like when it pops up on my screen. But no means do you have to donate. If you want to, that's on to you. But I, I got asked that. Actually, I got asked that twice um, now that I'm looking at this. And one was like donate to giveaways. Yeah, you can if you want. The address is there. I'll do it. Um, that's completely on to you guys. This is just me giving back to the hobby. But if you want to be part of that, feel more than welcome to send it. When it comes in, if you don't want your name posted, put a note in there. Just say it's from you know anonymous for a giveaway, whatever you want to do. All right, enough on to that part there. All right. This is all regarding giveaways. So the giveaways are going to always be explained in the video. And it's also in the description as well. So for time restraints, how you get into it, when I'm going to go live, when I'm cutting, it's all in there. Ask me how I ship my giveaways. And this was something that was asked because somebody asked, do they need to pay for shipping or is it done by, they call it PW, which is plain white envelope. I do not ship plain white envelope. If you win a $5 card off me, it's going out first class mail to you with tracking. And I'm going to get your email. It's going to get sent off to you. I don't I don't like the plain white envelope thing. Call me old fashioned or whatever. But uh, we don't do that way. So all my giveaways are either going to come to you via in a box. Or it's going to come in a padded bubble envelope. And it'll be in between cardboard, all that n normal stuff. Uh I'm just reading through here. Okay. Do you you don't have to pay for shipping? That's always on me. The only time you're gonna pay for shipping is if you buy something out of the store and forty nine dollars. Giveaways, it's all on me, shipping and all that. Whether you live in Canada, you live in Texas, I'll still pay for it. If we start going, it's going to Thailand stuff. I may ask for a little bit of help on that. Some of that stuff's like twenty, thirty bucks to ship a card, but uh, we'll see on that. I'll probably just ship it anyhow for free. All right, why am I giving cards away? Well, you know, through the years, I've been a collector probably since 1986 and, well, maybe 85. I think it was 85 I started. Well, anyhow, you know, you get a lot of cards, and I do well in breaks and products I open. I've learned through time that the idea is always to get my money back out of every box it is, whether it's grading or whatever, and sometimes I do really well, sometimes I don't. And, you know, I've done better more times than I've gone worse in my time. It's just pretty much just luck and what I've learned through time, especially with grading cards. So I know how it's really difficult to find certain product and certain cards out there. And I'd like to give back to everybody because you guys watch the channel. You guys watch the videos and everything. I just want to, you know, give back. 
and be able to give back more throughout the case of the year. So the more people we get on this channel, the more I can give away. The you know might be top five, I'll get something or you know once PSA orders start rolling back this summer, maybe I'll give out some PSA tens. You know what was it uh, in the thing yesterday? I think it was forty three Acuna tops uh, rookies. You know, if I get grade them all and say they're all 30 or PSA 10s, I might give three or four away. And that's just been something I've always done. When I'm at card shows, I give stuff to people. It's just always been my nature since I was a little kid going to the flea markets and stuff. We never had a whole lot of money when I grew up, okay? And I can still remember wanting a Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie or Bo Jackson Future Stars 87 Tops. Oral Hershey is a rookie. You know, my mom would probably splurge for like a 35 cent pack, something like that. And there are all of these guys at the flea market, man. They would see me there and they would give me one of their cards. They'd tell me to save it till later. And that probably let, put the thing in the back of my head that, you know, there's good people out there that have no other attention but just, here, here's something for you. And I think we lost that aspect in this hobby years and years ago, you know. So I want to try to at least give back to the overall baseball card community. You don't have to buy anything from me. If you win something in a giveaway, it's yours. I don't expect anything in return. But somewhere down the line, you might see that little kid out there who wants a pack of tops. He don't have enough money. And you're going to be like, man, I remember when Extreme gave, me, gave away a freaking box of cards and I got it. I'm going to buy that little kid a pack of cards. So that way we have kids in the future who's going to want to carry this on and keep our cards, you know, valuable and everything. And that that's my idea behind it. So other than that, I see I'm hitting 12 minutes on to here. Um, I think I hit almost all these questions up that I grouped together. I have more for next week that I'll hit. So if you guys have other questions, I'll check these comments out and try to hit those first. But feel free, if you ever have questions about my breaks, the giveaways, the videos, anything, I'm always watching. I may not get to your question that time of the day. Give me like 24 at the most, 48 hours in case I'm at a show. And I will try to get back to you and respond to you either in the comments or email or whatever it may be. Because it's learn and grow together. I mean, especially when you start talking about grading cards. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching the videos. I do appreciate it. Hopefully these questions that I answered um, helped you guys out a good bit with some of the questions you may have. Other than that, remember, subscribe to the channel. That's the only way you're going to get into giveaways. Be a subscriber. Like the videos. The more popular we get, share them. If you want to put links to the videos on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever else there is out there, you're more than welcome to. I appreciate the advertising. I really do. It just gets the channel to be bigger, and we'll just start expanding more and more. All right, that's it for me. Have a good week. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow with a video opening. Actually, I will because I got some mail and some great cards that we'll who I mail my BGS stuff off to. Take care. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow's video.